Hi, my name is Georgia Jean. I'm not sure how you found me, but I'm so excited that you have. Uh, you may have read about me in the New York Times or seen ABC's um, episode of Beyond Belief. Perhaps you're already familiar with my work through Circle Evolution, or you've seen some of my ridiculous stand-up and my acting work. I don't care how you found me. Like I said, I'm just very excited that you have because it means that you are ready for a paradigm shift in your consciousness and you are ready to truly understand what is going on on this planet. Now, some of you are probably already totally clued in on what's going on. Others of you might have a feeling that something's going on and others of you have not yet <laughs> tapped into the awareness that something's going on. But the fact that you arrived here shows me that you are fully ready to walk through a doorway of awareness that is about to completely, powerfully change your life. I'm just a regular person, but about seven years ago, I made a profound connection with a collective of non-physical energy. And this was an, what I can only describe as a powerful event where this energy kind of came into me and I was able to start channeling it. Uh, the energy runs through my hands and I was able to receive um, messages about what the heck is going on with the planet. As you probably know, it's been super chaotic lately and I'm really stepping out of what I call my cosmic closet, my spiritual closet, <laughs> and coming out to the world because I think it's time for us to speak up about what's going on because if we want this world to become a beautiful place, an amazing place, it's time for these messages to come through on a broad level. And like I said, I know there's a lot of people out there already bringing through these messages. Whoever is watching this, you are part of a global movement to bring light and positivity into this planetary plane. As I said, about seven years ago, I started receiving messages and it was pretty much news to me. I had learned about the law of attraction. I'd been working on myself on a personal and spiritual level. But what started coming through was a much deeper explanation of the kind of intensive energy that's going on in the planet right now. Right now, I think we could all agree that there's some pretty scary stuff going on. We've got the global economic crisis. We've been having all these uh, environmental disasters, environmental catastrophes. There's wars all over the place. It feels like the world is coming to falling to pieces. But that's not what's really going on. And I want to share with you how you can overcome this illusion of disaster, overcome the fear, overcome this like, oh my God, is this Armageddon? Is it the end of times? Is the world coming to an end? Are we going back into some, you know, <laughs> insane warriors on the street fighting for cans of beans because there's no food left and there's no water? I don't believe that's going to happen at all. And the reason I can feel that way is because I have been receiving this information and because I have been connected to this energy for quite some time. On my website, circleevolution.com, I have over 140 hours of recorded material that you can subscribe to. Some of it is free and then you can subscribe to it. And you'll be able to hear the energy that I'm connecting with and understand what's going on. They're called the circle of light, if I didn't say that already. But most importantly, these uh, teachings and meditations are to help you transform through this turbulent time. I'm sure many of you in the last few years have been experiencing some kind of really difficult, um, or tragic, mega challenging circumstances. Perhaps a, a loved one or a parent or a, a family member passed away rapidly. Perhaps you are struggling with a physical condition that's heavily debilitating. Perhaps you lost your job. Perhaps you lost your house. Uh, perhaps you were caught in one of these global um, environmental disasters. There's a reason why the, excuse my language, shiznich is hitting the fan. And that is because we are coming to a point in our consciousness where we are ready to clear the energy of what I would call the primitive mind. What's the primitive mind? Okay, back in the day when we were cavemen, we had a sort of 
a consciousness that was about survival. You all know we have a conscious mind, we have an unconscious mind. There's another aspect of us, our programming, which I call the primitive mind. And this primitive mind is all about survival. And there are very powerful emotions that are connected to this primitive mind energy. Those emotions are like rage, fear, deep grief, uh, fear of abandonment, all of this stuff. And what those emotions were about were about survival. So for example, back in the day, you've got a saber toothed tiger coming for you. You needed rage, the energy of rage to fuel your body so you could like battle the saber toothed tiger and survive. So back in those days, emotions like rage were, were great. They were fabulous. They were, they were needed. They were wanted. Fear, same thing. The adrenaline of fear gave you the energy that you needed to run like hell from, from some pterodactyl or, you know, whatever it was that was chasing you. The fear of abandonment, and I really want to uh, do some videos about this, um, is a very deep fear that we have, which is connected to survival. If you've ever broken up with a guy and been like, or a girl and been like, ah, I'm gonna die without that person and the person isn't even really that great, that is some primitive mind programming. It's the fear of abandonment. Because back in the caveman times, you needed to be with your tribe. You couldn't be alone. You couldn't survive. You couldn't gather enough food, fight off the saber-toothed tigers, run in the pterodactyls and do all that kind of stuff and survive on your own. So we have a deep, deep, deep programming which is about abandonment. I hope some of this is starting to ring with you all because I'm sure you've all felt one or other of these motions at, at a time. And you know that on a conscious level, you might be like, I'm a really nice person. I don't know why I just got into my car and got into a road rage experience <laughs> where I abused the hell out of some guy that was driving next to me. Like, Wah! that's your primitive programming. It rises up in you. It is about survival. Okay. And what has happened is that because we're evolved people now, we, we're not living in caves. We're not, well, I mean, I know some people in the world are, but there's a lot of people who, who aren't. We have um, supermarkets. We have uh, all kinds of sophisticated things we didn't have back in the day. Those emotions do not feel as purposeful as they were before. And so we tend to judge those emotions. And I'm going to get into even more of this on another recording, but I'm going to put it basically like this, because it is the mind's job to judge experience, to create what we call the polarity experience or the experience of separation. That is good, bad, right, wrong, black, white, you, me. This is the mind's job. There's, there's so much to this material. I, I'm just trying to give you a taste tester now and we'll get into more of it later. And as I said, there's a lot of this stuff on my website, circleevolution.com. Oh, and also in my book, The Circle of Light and the Philosopher, Another Magnificent Day, Keys for Unlocking the Soul's Potential. I'm trying to get the shine off that. Tons of material in here and I'll talk about that more. But point is, it's the mind's job to judge. So, and the, and the reason why it judges is it does that to create separation and it does that to, in short, maintain the illusion of this reality. Otherwise, this would just all be energy and I'd be you and you'd be me and we'd all just be floating around like beautiful cosmic consciousness. <laughs> so we need the, our minds to create this game that we're in. It's very like The Matrix, the movie The Matrix, if you've seen it. Um, there really is an illusion going on that we've chosen to come in here. It's like the illusion of TV. You put on a TV show, there's actors, they're playing out roles, they're playing out stories, uh, but it's not real. And as an observer of that, you know it's not real and yet you engage into the story. That's basically what it is to become a human being. It's like your soul goes, okay, what role can I play? I really want to be in this kind of a show. I want to be in a comedy. I want to be in a drama. I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to be a lawyer. <laughs> Whatever it wants to do because it's a creative process. I'm going to play a bad guy because that's really interesting. 
that's what consciousness does. It creates these roles for us to explore experience with. So I'm not sure how much longer I've got going on here. Point is, our minds have judged these heavy emotions as bad and they've pushed them into our unconscious. And from the unconscious place, they are manifesting into the external experience so we can face the illusion about what they really are. And so we can integrate that energy back into ourselves. I'm going to end it there. I think I have to. And there'll be more about this in the next video.